Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day one. Up today, we are going to go to the container store. We're going to talk wrapping paper, why it's important to buy quality wrapping paper, my favorite brands of wrapping paper. So let's get all the things done. And I'm really glad that you're here. Okay. I have to show you guys this because see how they're both sitting so politely. It's because I'm holding a banana and almost every day I make myself a protein shake and I put half the banana in my protein shake and then I give the other half of what's left over to them. Now, I never had dogs who loved bananas until these dogs, but boy, oh boy, I, I can't even tell you. So we have arrived at the container store. I opened this location seven years ago. So I, I feel very odd coming in here, but I still love the brand. And so it's actually better when I don't see people that I hired because it's just, I don't know, it, it makes me, it, it doesn't matter why. I don't, I don't know if you've ever worked retail and then you try to shop in a place where you used to work. It's a whole, it's a whole mood. So um, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. Here I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it ended up staying there well over an hour, but I loved every minute, so that's fine. Um, and now I'm going to show you guys what I actually ended up buying from all of the wonderful goodies they had. It's interesting because, when it doesn't matter, but when I first went to work for them, Gift Wrap Wonderland used to be so much bigger than it is now, but for me, it's kind of better that it's smaller because it keeps me from getting overwhelmed and not being able to make a good decision. So let me show you what I picked out. First of all, these are just some little things that I got. These were on clearance. You guys know I love the swell bottles and these are the wider mouthed ones. So they're really great for travel. So I picked up one for my son and one for my husband. So $17.47 is a really good price on those. I also got this little silly debates to get the whole family talking and laughing. We have my son's girlfriend with us this year. We might have a couple of other people. These are kind of fun to break out, you know, before dinner, after dinner, whatever. Will we actually play it? I don't know, but I thought it was, you know, I'm going to make an effort. Uh, these are for my son. We have a very long haul flight coming up in the spring and he wanted some of these. And so these are going in his stocking. So, you know, it's good to put stockings in a stocking, but they're socks. So, you know, and then super tape. Now we're going to talk about super tape more. Um, I don't know where my accent is coming from today. I just got off the phone with a woman from Progressive and y'all need to know I lived 15 years of my life in Texas as an adult and now I've been in Georgia for seven and I also lived in Texas a lot as a kid. So it comes out. Sorry, don't know what to tell you. Um, super tape. If you have a thicker wrapping paper, this is what you want to use. Regular scotch tape will not work on embossed papers or like craft paper. Uh, I have a couple of rolls from last year still and I was in need of more of this. It's not orange, it's clear. And when I do my wrapping video, which will go up sometime next week, um, I will show you exactly how you use this. Uh, so now let's get into the paper. I did end up getting, I just fell in love with this one. The old fashioned, it reminds me so much of my grandmother's house at the holidays. I just love it. I love, I mean, look at the artwork on that. If you have never done any research, and I didn't know this until I worked for the container store, how much goes into wrapping paper design. It is an art form all to its own. And look at the reindeer. The detail on this is just incredible. So it's kind of like old fashioned 1940s and 50s Christmas cards made into wrapping paper. Now, made in the USA. This is one of the rolls that is by the container store. They make absolutely fabulous paper. I believe all of the ones that are container store have the lines on the back. I'm not entirely sure though, so we'll open one of them up in just a second and I'll let you know. But this was 12 feet for $10 and I ended up getting two rolls of that one. And then I got this one, which this is the one that's embossed that's going to require the super tape. Again, it's by the container store, $10, made in the USA. 
really beautiful vintage paper. I felt like these together coordinated looks so beautiful. I already have a roll of this down in the uh, basement. So I got one more roll of the red and a roll of the green. Now this is the best bang for your buck at the container store. This is 25 feet. So look at all of the paper that you get on this roll and for $15. So as opposed to getting like the bargain roll at Costco or Target or whatever, this is my go-to. So I always make sure I have two or three rolls of just the solid. I would have picked up another thing of green, but they were already out. I got the last roll of red and the last roll of green. They'll restock, um, but yeah, for today, that was all I could get. And then this was my splurge. Um, not only was this my splurge cost-wise, because this one was $10, but it is only, how big are you? I think this is only... 30 inches time. Okay, this is only six feet um, and it was $10, but it the Kaspari paper is just so beautiful. And I may be pronouncing that wrong. I've actually never heard it pronounced. It's only printed in the USA. It's not entirely made in the USA, but look how gorgeous. And it's just slightly foiled, so it will require the super tape. But I feel like all of these together will coordinate really, really well. I will see if I can get another roll of green. I might order it online because I do feel like I need one more roll um, of the solid green to kind of complement this. But oh, so, so, so pretty. Okay, yes, I was correct. All of the Container Store branded has the grids on the back, which makes it so much easier for cutting. Now, let me show you. When you were going to buy wrapping paper and you're wondering, um, excuse the scratches on this table. I think I've talked about this table before. It was um, built the year that I was born, 1970. So it's seen somewhere. Somewhere on here, you can actually see my handwriting because it's um, maple and it's a softer wood. And I was doing a paper once and wrote in cursive directly on the table instead of on the pad. My mom was super mad at me at the time, but one of these days I'll see if I can find it because um, you can see my handwriting from the fifth grade. But none, none, none of that matters right now. When you're looking for good quality paper, take out a little piece of it, if they'll let you, and fold it. So do you see how beautiful that crease is? If it is flimsy to crease, if the crease doesn't stay, that is not good quality paper. It needs to have a little bit of heft to it. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to get that really nice fold. You're just not. So you want to make sure that you're buying really good quality paper. All of these fall in that category. Like I said, make sure you stay tuned because sometime in the next week, this, this video will go up on Sunday, I will be bringing you a completely updated wrap with me video and we're going to talk about the basics of gift wrap so that you have the most beautiful gifts you've ever had. Okay, our tea today is Yorkshire Gold with a splash of milk and a teaspoon of sugar. And then our tea cakes today, or our tea biscuits, excuse me, are from Fortnum & Mason, brought to me all the way from London, England by my good friend, Karen. Let's do our very first tea and question of the week. Today's question I love, and I purposely chose it for this very first video because I feel like this is one of those areas where we all want to do a good job, but we feel like, you know, how can we make sure that we are really being considerate of others? So the question is, how can we be inclusive of all other holidays that are not Christmas? I love this because I think, as is true of anything, I think the best way to be inclusive is to just not make assumptions. Don't assume that whomever it is you're talking to, whether that's someone checking you out at a store, someone you might meet at, you know, kids school drop off, someone you meet at the grocery store, don't assume that they celebrate the same holidays that you do. And also don't assume that they celebrate any holidays at all. So you can always ask questions. And I like the question, do you have anything special you do this time of year? Because that question is not, do you do anything special for Christmas? That question is not, do you celebrate Christmas? That question is very open-ended because they may not celebrate the holidays at all. They may celebrate Hanukkah. They may celebrate Kwanzaa. They may celebrate any number of other holidays. And by saying, do you do anything special this time of year? You're opening it up to all different kinds of things. And just by asking the question, you are making it clear that you don't need it to be just about 
Christmas. It, it's okay for you to celebrate the holiday that you celebrate. I love talking about Christmas. I also love listening to my friend Allison talk about how they celebrate Hanukkah. Um, I love hearing how people celebrate different holidays all over the world. So although I'm always going to be inclusive, also don't feel like it's rude for you to talk about the celebrations that you partake in. Because if the person you're talking to is a friend of yours, they probably want to know your holiday traditions too. So you don't need to apologize for the way that you celebrate, no matter how that is or is not, right? Because you also don't have to apologize if you do nothing. But yeah, I think ask the right kinds of questions and make sure they're questions that are open, open to hearing a different side of things, open to hearing different traditions. So yeah, now let's try these cookies. Um, these look really good. They're really small. So I got six because <laughs> that seemed appropriate. Mmm, those are yummy. I'm going to do this because we know that is how you know if it's a good biscuit, if you can dip it in tea. Oh, hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the ticket right there. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you've had a beautiful day. I hope your Thanksgiving was beautiful. If it wasn't, I hope that you're spending some time today just taking a breath, finding what you can be grateful for. Um, I will be doing a shout out during every video to all of my friends in retail. I am no longer in retail, but I see you. I understand. And as you're out shopping, be nice to people that are working. Oh, and whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy. Bye.